Welcome back to another Roblox video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to perform a glitch, which is how I did this. Made that normal block kill me. The reason why that normal block killed me is because it wasn't a normal block. There were spikes inside it. Now, I'm going to show you how you can do that and also how you can use that glitch to do other things as well. So, that was based on a spike moving a block inside that block, so then there were like regular spikes in there to kill me. So to do that glitch the first thing you need is you need to go into wiring and get yourself a moving spike. You need to place that down then you need to go into wiring again and get a repeater gate which when you place it down you need to go into its settings and set the loop short enough that it keeps the spike out the whole time. The easiest thing is just to set them both to zero, time on and time off to zero. Even though it's on for zero amount of time, it does still like power the spike. And then you need some sort of power source. I've used a lever here, and then you need to connect it, and then connect the output of the repeater to the spike and don't know why it goes off the first time because it's not on but now it's on so you can use this to move blocks and you can even stack spikes on top of each other connecting them to the same repeater and then retract two blocks down like that uh, one thing I will say if you try and connect it up by just putting another one on top by copying the last one that doesn't seem to work so uh, you'll have to place it on there and then connect it up unfortunately so it's not super easy but you can do it and then you can do a lot of movement of blocks very easily with this glitch one of the main things this gets used for which is what I used for the bit of the start is you can put a block on like that retract it then build a little L shape bit like this and then Let's let's use a different colour for this block on the end here. Uh, let's just go for blue. And then we can push that block up inside the blue block. You can see there's sort of a mixture of the two. And if you want them to align perfectly, you just have to come over, save it by overwriting, open it again. Now we've got, it looks like just a blue block for some reason. It's chosen the blue block. Um, it was the one we placed on the side there, so it looks like that takes priority um, but if we were to break that blue block looks like we broke the black block instead inside that's interesting um, for one we didn't see it's for one we broke nothing got destroyed of the blue block and then break again and it's gone so there were two blocks inside each other there which is one of the main uses for this thing I wonder if this person knows me ah they know my youtube channel cool okay uh, yes. Okay, um, yeah, so, got Lojo here, uh, obviously someone who knows my YouTube channel. If you play this game at the moment, I've been playing it quite a bit, and there aren't that many servers open, so, yeah, you're quite likely to meet me, actually, and you might get in a video. So, I think that's gonna have to end today's video. Like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified. Bye!